a three that bear witness on earth is the water, the blood, and the spirit. That was why John the Baptist was given the ordinance of baptism. Because the purpose of John the Baptist's baptism was to identify who the Messiah was. The marching orders that John received in the wilderness was in the book of John chapter 1. That when he's conducting his baptism and he sees a man that enters into the water and when he comes out, the Holy Spirit descends upon him and remains. Ah, he is he that we baptize with, with fire. So it, it, took, it will take the Baptist that baptizes with water to find the baptizer that baptizes with fire. And the water with which he was baptizing is, 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 the, is one of the witnesses on earth that when Jesus enters into the water, his identity will be revealed. Are you following? Just so that we will, not, we will know that he was the authentic son of God. The water revealed him. The moment he came out of the water, the alignment of heaven was affected and the Holy Spirit descended, embodied his shape like a dove and rested upon him. Then another witness in heaven spoke the father. He said, this one is my beloved son. So that was where sonship was commissioned. What the father was saying was that the idea we had in mind, when we said, let us make man, this is the authentic pattern man. This is what we had in mind. Are you, are you still there? The Bible also said that the blood was witness. The first time a man was murdered, he was an innocent man. And the Bible revealed that the earth swallowed, he swallowed his blood. His blood was not floating on the ground. The earth swallowed it. And it was from that point where the earth swallowed the blood that the blood began to cry to the court of heaven for vengeance and justice. When Jesus was crucified, that was the blood of a righteous man, not an innocent one. When they brought him to Golgotha and his blood hit the ground, that was the reason for that earthquake. Are you following? You are not following. You are not following me. That was the reason for that earthquake, and that earthquake was what affected. Eh? First of all, there was the first omen was that there was an eclipse. The second omen was that there was an earthquake. The third omen was that the cutting of the Holy of Holies was, was torn from top to bottom. Wait, stay with me, stay with me. Don't, don't say yeah, wait. Wait. In order for you to understand what happened in the Holy of Holies, you will need to understand Hebrew culture. In Hebrew culture, when someone is grieving, the way he expresses his grief is that he puts sackcloth on and he tears the garment and puts ashes on his head so the cutting of the holy of holies was torn from top to bottom it means it was the father whose dwelling place was the holy of holies that tore the cotton and all these three omens were pointing to the fact it was his blood that created this these reactions so much so that the centurion that was supervising the golgotha area for that expedition of crucifixion said an unbeliever he said indeed this one He's a righteous man. He has crucified so many people before. Nothing happened. Even the ones that boasted and said, my spirit will haunt you. They kill them. Nothing happened. <laughs> but when he crucified Jesus, he himself confessed, this one is a righteous man. So he was revealed when his blood hit the ground. The ground that swallowed Abel's blood, when, it, when he received Jesus' his own, there was earthquake. The computer crashed couldn't handle it there was righteousness in it so by blood his identity was revealed to be the son of God are we clear on that okay so what he did as the son of God was to model how the son of God is supposed to behave so we saw Jesus when he when there was a lack he had to pay temple tax and he had no physical money and meanwhile for your information a Jew is not supposed to pay temple tax. But the reason why they insisted that Jesus should pay is because they wanted to see. They wanted, wanted him to fight so that they would not go on this and say, see, the one you say is a Messiah. He was fighting at the temple. In fact, Peter was ready to fight at that point. But Jesus says, so that we will not offend. He said, Peter, 
I know since you started following me, your followership has not been complete. You have reserved one net. Just in case ministry fails, you will go back. You reserve a hook. So that hook, take it. And Peter did not ask questions. He said, he said yes, sir. Because he kept, he kept net. In the book of John chapter 21, you will see he, he, he retrieved that net to start his fishing business. And he kept hook too. But that day, it was the hook that Jesus asked him to take. So you see how the Son of God operated. In lack, there was wisdom for him to solve practical problems. And the wisdom came from the Holy Spirit. When the Son of God was confronted by Satan, Satan met him in the wilderness. We saw how the Son of God operated. He knew the counsel of God. So Satan could not deceive him. There were three levels of deception Satan brought. It's not, it's not for this class. He says, it is written. Because he will follow the counsel of God. He will not follow wise counsel. He will not follow wise suggestion. The only thing that could trigger an action from him was that his father spoke. Man shall not live by bread alone. And in that scripture, he was occupying the office of man. So he says, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So it's the only the proceeding word that can make Jesus act. Not a good idea. I'm just giving you an, an idea of the son of God. Um, the man on the console, can you give me Hebrews chapter 1? We are getting close now to starting the lecture. We are getting close. You see, if, if God is going to appear in his glory, the book of Psalms says, when the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. This Zion must be built. His glory cannot be, appear the way Zion is. No. So build us we need to come massively to unveil the counsel of God and when Zion is built the Lord will appear in his glory this is Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 it's a God who has sundry times and in diverse manners he spake unto the fathers by the prophets he has in these last days spoken unto us by who? his son So we now have the opportunity to see the biblical definition of what it means when we say the son of god next verse good no 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 go two spoken out to us by his son number one definition of his son whom he had appointed heir of all things number two definition of his son by whom also he made the world and the book of Colossians will now tell us that everything was made by him and for him. So you were made for him. You are his property. Your essence, your significance, your purpose, your relevance is exactly what he says your purpose is. If you are doing something contrary to what he says your purpose is, you are out of relevance. You can never exercise dominion in that location because you are out of joint with alignment. The Bible says, who, number three, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. The meaning of all of that big English is that he is the definition of his father. The clearest, most visible definition of God because it was the express image of God. You were designed to be the image of God and the implication of that is that when you mature because sonship is not something that you are born into no it is something that you mature into it's a state of existence and that state of existence has already been illustrated by the firstborn son are you there and until you mature into it the powers of that designation will not attend to you when you mature into it, you no longer look like Friday, like John. No, you will look like the one whose image you have. You too will become the brightness of his glory. 
and the express image of his person it is his person that is revealed through your vessel if it's still you your carnal self the one that is a boxer and on wednesday we we'll see your wife with plasters because in the night you exercise the boxing ability you are manifesting another personality that's not how he is you are an impostor mm. because for him he was the brightness of his father's glory he was the express image of his father's person he carried and expressed the person of his father so there was no need for him to say this is the father no because he was a theater that expressed his father who, who are you expressing who are you expressing you look like all the zulus in your bloodline you saw your grandfather when he gets angry the entire clan will shake because the, even a cow cannot appease his anger the power of the zulu warrior was still alive <laughs> but in order for you to be in this designation you will lose your zulu trait I, I, i'm not saying you will stop being zulu you will still be a zulu man but the person you are expressing is not zulu somewhere in this conference when pastor makes my zulu garments are available i will wear it to show you that i am very much zulu but the man that will be speaking through my vocal cord is not a zulu man the one that will be stretching his hands when i stretch my hand will not be a zulu i remember the zulu crown i was given the other time the, the, the picture i took with that crown it, it lasted on social media that's why I, I always want to come back here because you people accept you accepted me we even tried the zulu dance but my leg could not go more than uh, may the lord give you understanding who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power the reason why your heart is still beating is because he spoke and said let the heart continue to beat he doesn't uphold some things he upholds all things that's the reason why satan cannot say to you i will kill you by nine o'clock tomorrow it's not given unto him not given on to him it's unfortunate that satan already knows he has lost but he's still in the game my lord will not fall to him he upholds all things by the word of his power 